Hey yo, we here. What's up, everyone? How was California? I live in California. I think you mean how was LA? We'll talk about we'll talk about the trip later. We're back though, clicker class. We should be entering hard mode. I hope now the uh, clicker class add-on mod did update, so there might be some new things here. Yeah, this mod right here. There might be some new things to look at in here. All right, here's the problem. I think we noticed this problem last time. It was the lava. <laughs> So this is what we're gonna do we're just gonna we're gonna toss all the bombs down this should lower the lava level i hope it doesn't really look like it's lowering that much so like i might have to build platforms i just need to be able to see the wall of flesh's eye and or mouth preferably eye how do you rate yourself out of 10 what the fuck does that mean unless you mean raiding what would i raid myself 101 would be my answer this this looks pretty good this looks like a lot of area of course, we gotta have a lava slime come and mess it up. Uh, let's look around here. They said there was new content. Let's see what the new content is. Ah, look at that. We got some thorium stuff. Aqueous clicker and uh, omnicide. Don't get that until legit the end of the playthrough. Did you guys see that shit? Like, if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask unless you're in a crowded area. Kind of cool. Look at the kind of world we live in. It's kind of cool that you don't have to wear a mask in a crowded area. Watch it spawn on the opposite side. Hold up, money, hold up, money, money. Okay, remember when I said like, I felt like this was gonna be easy because I don't have to worry about like projectiles and stuff being blocked. But it's like, I don't feel like I have enough range here. It's just making it a little hard. I have to just like barely stay out of the way. Oh, damn. Okay, this is not a good situation to be in. That's really upsetting. I backdashed, I bounced off of something, and because I bounced off of something, I went into him. That's a sad way to die, bro. You know what I need? I need that anvil. Down we go. See, this is why the anvil is great. It actually isn't. Like, literally, the only reason we lost is because I backdashed into the fucking... I don't know if it was a leech or if it was a uh, hungry. I backdashed into whatever it was, and it bounced me forward. I gotta work on my uh, cookie-clicking game here. I'm good. Again, we could tank the lasers. The lasers are no problem to tank. I dashed right there. I shouldn't even. I shouldn't even double tap dash. There you go. That's how the first fight should have been. We just wasted time. Right? You know, I wanted to make the stream a little bit longer. <laughs> so open this. Ah, we didn't get it. <laughs> we did get this though. The demon heart's always nice. Oh, is that the butterfly I need? No, it's not. God damn it. Fifty percent bait power though. There's a butterfly that we could use for something. For some sort of enchantment. It was a really good enchantment. I think it was the zebra one. Yeah, the zebra butterfly right here. But look how expensive. Oh my God. Even if I were to have this right here, silver tongue, it's still a platinum. It didn't even change the price. This thing, we'll hold on to this thing for now. There's a lot of butterflies. Is that the butterfly I'm looking for? Oh, <gasps> zebra swallowtail. Is this it? Oh, it is. So we can make this iron enchantment which includes the, the shield of Cthulhu dashing. And then we could like, it says right click to guard with your shield. You track items from a larger range. Like why not make this? Why not? Iron enchantment, where is it? Beautiful. We could bring up a shield. Look at that, that's cool. And then we can still have our dash, beautiful. It's like we're getting more out of it. But also, that's that's not all, that's not all. We could turn this into this. Now it does take a while to get your hands on some of these. Um, let us also make frost spark boots. Five gold, honestly, not that bad. Look at that, frost burn pouch. Wow, a yo-yo accessory. How was the vacation? Okay, the vacation. So I haven't taken many vacations in my life. But yeah, I haven't gone on too many vacations, but out of all the ones I've been on, this recent vacation to LA, it was fucking buns, I'll be 100% honest. Like, uh, there was a lot of things that just went wrong with it. Which usually we do have something that goes wrong every vacation, you know? Last time we went to Disneyland in our fucking Airbnb, was like, hey yo, uh, yeah, we're not letting you in. Uh, go go do something else. You know, we had to, I had to fucking pay for a hotel on the spot. Which, you know, it isn't a vacation with me and my friends if something doesn't go wrong. That's what I was thinking, like, I should, I should just go hard on some YouTube content, you know? Uh, get a bunch of videos for you guys going, and then I should go take, like, a solo vacation. The two things I wanted to do on this vacation, we didn't do. Uh, starting with day one, we were supposed to go to an escape room in LA. It was a cool-ass escape room. It was like a fucking horror horror scary one didn't get to do that i don't know what happened with that but uh you know shit happened we didn't get to do the escape room i love doing escape rooms they're fun as fuck especially since the last escape room me and my friends did were on my birthday and we took a l at that escape room we lost that one that was like the first escape room we lost even though it partially wasn't our fault they like there was a couple of things in that escape room like they misplaced some stuff and then they made, they made us go through the back entrance 
which made us do like everything backwards in the escape room so like that that l partially wasn't our fault and then the second thing i wanted to do you know i've been saving up some money i wanted to go shopping i wanted to buy some cool shit out there we were gonna hit up some like rare clothes stores um if you guys know round two places like that uh places on melrose and fairfax we were gonna hit up places like that we didn't fucking do that <laughs> We didn't have enough time to do it on the last day because we just had terrible time management on that day. So that means the first thing I wanted to do, we didn't get to do. The second thing I wanted to do, we didn't get to do. <laughs> I mean, there was still like fun moments with me and my friends. Of course, there's going to be fun moments when you're hanging with your friends. The thing with me and vacations, when I when I go on vacations, I want it to like be new experiences. The two things we did do, we went to uh, we went to this museum. So like uh, we we got we got tickets for that museum of dream space, and then we got tickets for an aquarium the aquarium was cool as fuck that, that was one of the fun things uh, we saw otters and shit we saw seals you know uh fishes crabs saw a lot of cool shit so that was fun and then we went to this museum of dream space i knew it was sus this museum we went to once we entered a fucking mall to go to it and then the, we're, we're like 12 people deep 12 people deep on this vacation so we get there and they're like, oh, you got, you got a big group, so we're, you guys have to wait for a little bit. And I was kind of hyped that they're like, oh, you have to wait. And I was kind of hyped because I'm like, oh, shit, I get to explore the mall. I've been, I kind of want to go shop around. They fucking text us like five minutes later. And then when we got there, like the fucking workers, like I just wasn't fucking with their vibe. You know, like workers at a place, they're working a little too hard. They're being a little too strict for like how much they get paid. But like the people are like, they're, they're kind of being low key dickheads. I didn't like the way they were acting. And the museum is pretty much like a bunch of like pictures projected on the wall so when things are like projected on the wall it's like how are you projecting them they're projecting them through their computer through their computer onto the wall these motherfuckers had like the damn windows but logo in the bottom corner you know like when you're on your desktop you have all that shit in the bottom left they had all that on the corner <laughs> we we paid fucking 30 bucks even with groupon we were trying to save some money with groupon we paid 30 bucks for this experience this museum is like five fucking rooms we walked through that shit in like 10 minutes your first day you should always plan like a break day for your first day just you get there and you can just chill you know maybe hit up some food spots maybe shop a little on your first day depending where you're at but your first day should always be your chill day game raider stories over game raiders videos hey come on the videos complement the stories <gasps> hey look who it is i knew you would show up now, the reason why I'm trying to get this armor so early is because it's only useful at the beginning of a hard mode. <gasps> Leapus! <laughs> it didn't even drop the Leapus thing, so I still can't fight Leapus. Will we ever fight Leapus again? Find out never. A few moments later. Is there another one? Oh, there we go, Leapus. We can finally fight Leapus, bro. Yeah, I, I have not seen another Rainbow Slime. Yuki, please sell the Rainbow Slime. Oh. Perfect. It just costs a lot of gold. Perfect. All right. I think we're already good for the amount we have. But we might as well kill the remaining ones. Yep, there it is. Rainbow gel cap suit. Hey, when chat starts going on some weird shit, you know, I just I just play Terraria. You know, the chat chooses how interactable they want to be. It's either we can have a fun stream and I could interact with you guys the whole time, or you guys can say some stupid shit and I won't even look at you. Uh, honestly. Is our defense going to go up? Oh, it did go up by three. What about damage? Damage is 30. Didn't even change. <laughs> oh, I guess it's just time to fish. Okay, look at our outfit. Like, our outfit doesn't look that cool. <laughs> the stream has been going on for ages. We haven't even reached two hours. <laughs> if one a one hour stream is long for you, bro, I don't think you've ever seen a live stream before. Are these the ones that drops the bags? Oh, I want to kill these guys, then. Last time we opened the angler bag, we ended up with a golden fishing rod. So we're doing all this for not only armor clicker, because we need a better clicker. I don't care. We just need a hard mode clicker. I don't really care which one it is. Uh, let's go break some altars. I'm going to break like three of them. You don't really have to, but I'm going to just do it anyways. So we got palladium. We got mithra. We got adamantite. All right. Do I need anything else down here? Oh, I came down here just in case it was palladium. And look at that. There it is. Beautiful 62. You know you gotta hit that good good stretch. Or you know you hit that good stretch when like you can't even see. Like I've hit some uh, fire stretches where like I feel lightheaded after like I can't even see anything. Those are the good stretches. I didn't hit that right there. I wish I did. You wake up 
hit that stretch and then your legs start shaking. Those are the good stretches right there. How much titanium do I have? If any at all. This one, after nine clicks, razor edge, fires out five orbiting saw blades. I, I don't know, that might be better. Let me see. Oh, it looks cool. Look how many effects we have going on. Chocolate chips, slimes, saw blades. All right, so where are we in terms of bosses? If we hit the wall flesh, Borean Strider, randomly appears during a blizzard. Okay. Uh, Flying Dutchman or Pirate Invasion. I guess we could kind of work on that. My health teacher showed me pictures of his vasectomy. <laughs> Might be reportable right there. Suable even. Hey, remember, I don't know how many of you uh, invest into like cryptocurrency or just stocks in general. But I remember Doge the like a week ago. Pretty much like doubled. It was like four riding around the four one area. Four two. And I remember a bunch of people were like, tomorrow's going to be Doge day. And then that shit plummeted to like damn near what it started or like to like to something yeah if you know how to work the stocks right like you can make you can make a good bit of money honestly just wait for it to hit that high point sell half of it or a chunk of it then wait for it to get low buy a bunch of it <laughs> and then wait for it to get high and then sell a bunch of it like, i feel like that's really easy to do with uh volatile ones that move up and down like that i was telling my friends i'm like hey i'm gonna try this new money duplication 100% real glitch I found. I feel like when I went to LA recently, even though like, you know, people are wearing masks. I did see a lot of people not wearing masks too. I don't know, I felt like normal for once. <laughs> it felt weird. And then the whole shit they're doing now where if you're fully vaccinated, you can walk around without a mask. Like I kinda wanna get vaccinated now. <laughs> I mean, the plan was to get vaccinated. I kind of want to, I kind of want to get vaccinated. I could walk around normally without a mask. It's crazy. Like I could tell you like a moment where I legit could have been like up oh, thousands. One of my, to a couple of my friends, they made a bunch of money. They made like a couple thousand off of Ethereum rising. Like I saw Dogecoin and I was looking at Dogecoin. I'm like, what if I just throw like $500 into Dogecoin? And this is back when that shit was like legit, like zero, 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 one. Back home we go. Let's deposit all this stuff. I want a different pet. We're getting a different pet. Didn't I have like a new pet that I just picked up? Yeah, this right here. Boom. Whoa. That's way cooler than the bunny. Hey, wasn't there like a gold clicker I could make? Perfect. Oh, and it's pro. We got some good luck for us. Four clicks. Diamond. Shoots diamonds with a Migas debuff. Diamonds and chocolate. What a fucking combo, right? If you get to the point where you have like so many editors to where you're like all you have to do as the fucking content creator is just record you know how much content you could drop bro the thing is with like the videos that aren't stream highlights i still like to edit those myself because obviously i have a certain style to my videos that i want to keep let us make the crystal clicker amateur no if it's not pro i don't want it I'm trying to think of a strategy that involves a hot tub and a decent to average looking girl you know what i'm saying like i feel like we could work something out i feel like we could murder somebody if i had a girl in a hot tub behind me do you think twitch would ban me yeah they would ban me we just need 16 okay we're good and now i could turn the rest into torches he's gonna come back and he's gonna give me the eye here he comes yes and i'm out of here it is crimson clicker disconnected of course it's ass so this does fires eight icor streams at home in oh my dude said i got bitches all on my dick and every day sucking and don't lie bro we know you get startled when you see a female <laughs> now scream the n-word i remember this one time I, I don't remember where i was going i think i was walking to like 7-eleven and then i remember this dude was like wearing headphones and then he like got on his knee i thought this dude was about to propose to me or some shit but he got on his knee oh my god and then he started like spitting bars he was like on one knee like spitting bars and it was definitely towards me because there's like nobody else there and i was like what the fuck is happening <laughs> this is like when i was like 14 or 15 I was like, is this dude, is this dude rapping, <laughs> rapping to me? I think he was trying to like hand me a mixtape too. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Tell us the story when you napalm the local grocery store and told them to burn for their sins of selling stale chips. I don't remember that one. You might have to brush me up on that one. Have you guys ever like gotten your shoes shined by like those people at the mall? I remember like they, they shined one of my shoes 
And then I was like, God damn, you shined the hell out of my shoe. I'm gonna go grab my wallet real quick. I left it in the car. I never came back after that shit. And then every time I go to that mall from now on, I wear uh, I wear uh, sandals or slides so nobody can shine my shoe. Hey, he shined the hell out of my shoe, though. I'll give it to him. I think the product works. Me and one of my friends way back in the day, I'm talking about this is probably like 10 year old, 11 year old Game Raiders. But like way back in the day, uh, my friend, the friend that actually like showed me what YouTube was. Shout out my boy Ramon, that's his name. But yeah, I remember I was hanging out with him way, way back in the day. And uh, you know, we were just being kids, just fucking around the, the neighborhood. And uh, I remember we were sitting on like this electric box. You know the electric box. If you're a kid, you probably have sat around an electric box too, like the big ass green box. We were just sitting out there. And then here comes this Karen, Karen type of uh, person, you know? Karen type of old lady. The one that, the one that like just looking at them, you know they're gonna bitch about something. So she came up to us and she was like, what are you guys doing? And we were like, what do you mean? What are we doing? We're just sitting on this electric box. And she was like, she was just being like super sus. And then like that, that was all the interaction. And then I remember later we were just like talking and we were walking around this like sign. We were just like walking around in circles, going around the sign and just like talking to each other. And then she like comes up again and she's like, what do you guys think you're doing? And we're like, what do you mean? What, do we, what are we doing this time? And she's like, you're you're unscrewing the sign from the floor. We're like, what? <laughs> we're just walking around a circle in the sign. Like every now and then we put our hand on the sign. And she's like, you're unscrewing it from the floor. It's getting loose. And we're like, huh? <laughs> like me and Ramon, we're just like confused. We're like, why is this lady just coming up and bothering us? <laughs> and then this is like all in the same day. Now this next one, this next one get, makes sense why we got in trouble for it because there were this there was this yard that has had like a bunch of rocks on the floor like their yard had like a bunch of rocks a rock garden or some shit it was just a bunch of little like pebbles and we were fucking throwing them at each other like we would get like a handful and throw them at each other and then here comes this fucking bitch again out of nowhere it's like she's spying on us <laughs> and she's like that's it where's your parents and we got in trouble for that i remember it and i <laughs> she was talking to ramon and I was trying to slip away. I always do this. Every time like somebody gets in trouble and I'm like a part of the group, I would try and slip away into the shadows. And it works sometimes. I have a couple of worse stories I could tell about me slipping away. And she's like, hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> I was so close to just taking off running. She was like, oh, they were unscrewing a sign. And me and Ramon were like, what? <laughs> like, well, we'll take the rock thing. Yeah, we're throwing rocks at each other. We shouldn't have done that. But like the sign thing and then she was talking about like the electric box they're like yeah she, they were screwing around with the electric box we were like what the fuck <laughs> does this bitch hate us <laughs> like i can understand not liking kids but god damn <laughs> but then yeah let me think of some other stories i remember there were some apartments uh, that one of my friends lived at and we were playing tag and you know we were being a little loud and like the fucking like security guard i've never seen a security guard for those apartments but all of a sudden here comes a security guard for those apartments he's like hey you stop you guys need to stop. You're being too loud. Some shit like that. And then like he's like yelling at some of my friends. And then I'm like slowly creeping away. <laughs> I'm slowly sneaking away. And I almost got away again. And then like last second he's like, hey, yo, where do you think you're going? You're trying to get away? And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was, just, I was just backing up, giving you guys some room. And then, like, the one time where I did get away by, like, sneaking back a little bit. What the fuck? It was in high school. Because I remember, like, it was legit. Like, me and one of my friends, we were just talking to each other. And then my other friends were, like, fucking around. I think they were fucking around with the vending machine. Because there was always this vending machine that we would shake and get free food from. So they were shaking the vending machine. And they were, they were getting free food. But then they got in trouble for it. And here comes like one of the security guards for the school. And then me and my me and my friend who were just talking, we weren't even doing anything. We we're like, I'm not we're not trying to get in trouble for this. So then I tell him his name was uh, Virgil. I was like, hey yo, Virgil, start sliding down a little bit to the left. Because we were all sitting on this like big ass bench. I was like, start sliding to the left. So we slowly start sliding away from like the bigger group of my friends. We just slid off and he never noticed that we were a part of the group. And I was like looking away too, like not trying to be a part of the, the big group of my friends. Cause I'm not trying to get in trouble for something I didn't do. I ain't a fucking gang banger. I'm not fucking going down for the gang. Fuck that. <laughs> I remember this old couple like came up to me. So they came in, they looked pissed off already. They're like, where's a dehumidifier? I'm like, oh, we don't have uh, dehumidifiers, but we have cool air humidifiers. And they're like, no, where's a dehumidifier? Like the old grandpa was like talking to me. He's like, we want a dehumidifier. I'm like, sir, there's, there's cool air humidifiers. Just get one of those. You're fine. <laughs> 
He's like, man, what the fuck? You see, like, he, like, walked off. He, he's like, man, what the fuck is it? What the fuck is it? I was like, God damn. I'm trying to help you. Dude wanted a dehumidifier. I said, all right, there's one over there. It's just a different name. Oh, he's like, man, I'm going to show my fucking whatever. <laughs> And then I remember there was this one time like a lady asked me if they had this product and I took out my zebra. It said we didn't have anything. The fucking lady didn't believe me. She's like, let me see it. Let me see your thing. So she spent like five minutes like looking through it and she's like, yeah, I guess you guys don't have any. And I was like, fucking see, bitch. Cambridge, can you tell us a story of you quitting a job? So Target, I didn't quit. I was a seasonal worker and they didn't keep me. But Ross, Ross, I also didn't quit. I just left. <laughs> they would like call me a bunch too. I just wouldn't pick up. They're like, hey, uh, Dakota, do you think you're ever gonna come in? Or they're like, you didn't come in for this day. <laughs> and I was like, the fuck? <laughs> There's a thing called naked yoga on YouTube. I'm about to look that up later. Thanks for telling me. Leapus, what's up, Leapus? Long time, no fight. Remember when you beat my ass? Well, guess what? It's hard mode and you're not doing that again bitch <clears throat> i was i was one of the type of kids to fucking we had like a baseball thing and then like you could hide behind the baseball thing during runs I, I was that type of kid i would hide there for like a lap or two like we would get behind to where you can hide behind the baseball thing and i would just sit there and pretend like i'm tying my shoe i was like nobody's gonna notice and then i remember we had to do this run and every time you did a lap in the run you got a straw from the from the pe teacher so like each straw would show how many laps you did and i think we had to do like three minimum and then you could do more if you want you know if you if you're fast enough and i remember i had like two straws and then i saw a mcdonald's straw on the floor like the straws they were giving out were like bendy bendy straws like rainbow bendy straws that were like all different types of colors and i saw a mcdonald's straw on the floor and i picked it up and i was like shit i gotta i got an easy uh easy w right here and then i i got up to them after that lap and i was like here you go i got all my straws and they're like is this <laughs> they're like why is this straw different from the rest and i'm like I don't know. Like, I played it off really well. I was like, what? What the heck? I don't know. They were like, did we give this to you? I'm like, yeah, I think you did. And they're like, oh, damn. Okay, we should throw this one away. But yeah, good job finishing your, your laps. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, I finessed that shit. I remember in uh, middle school, there was this... Uh, there was this game we played called Australian Pursuit and it was a game where like you're in a team of four and you run around in this circle in the middle and the goal is to tag the other person on the other team. So you start both start on one side. So like one person starts here and then one person starts over here and then the person over here is the tagger. This person is the runner and your goal is just to run around in a circle and not get tagged. But every time you do a lap, you like tag in your next teammate. So like you keep going until everyone gets tagged. <laughs> and i remember we had a group we had a pretty like slow group like me and my group of friends i was with you know we're not like the fastest when it comes to running so then <laughs> i was like all right y'all ready for this but my friend goes first kills it he does he does good you know i think yeah we're the ones tagging he kills it and then he tags me and the the person i'm up against is like you know one of the clumsy people that like they be dropping shit all the time they be slipping it's one of the clumsy people so as soon as like the whistle is blown for our for the next person this motherfucker trips on his own foot eats shit and goes ow <laughs> and i tagged him while he's on the floor just like just face first on the floor and everybody <laughs> everybody's like god damn i was like that shit was easy <laughs> the audio is about to play five times i'll get a lot of calls about like hotels or some shit like that they'll be like your reservation at this place and i'll be like huh Riddle, what's rock hard and wet? Something that go inside of someone. A bone. You didn't even, you put the answer at the end of the riddle. Like, you didn't even give me a chance to fucking solve it. Hey, can you tell Ryan he's shit dog water? Maybe. All right, we made the titanium armor set. We barely had enough. Wow, I look like Batman, low key. I got like a cowl on. The wish version of Batman. Why you gotta roast me like that, bro? Oh, that's not dark enough, bro. It's dark. What's a pirate's favorite letter? R. These guys suck. Why would I watch a Smith this OG clip on a game reader stream? Question, how many two-year-olds can you fight? What's like the average height of a two-year-old? Like a foot? If we take that in, in, into consideration, I think I could take on a, at least a couple hundred. Just like off of my legs alone. So like, yeah, I say like 200. Just grab them and throw them. You could do that. You could kick them. But you got a lot of options. And then like you gotta take into account like the the area you will be fighting them. 
because that does matter. But if I'm like taking them on in an open field, yeah, that's easy. How many a hundred olds can you fight? Probably more than fucking two year olds. If you kick one of our, one of them, they like still might have some fight left in them. But like you hit an a hundred year old with a good kick, that's easy. Motherfucker ain't coming back from that. Bump into him with your elbow or your shoulder. Yeah, the motherfuckers, those, they're out. Did you feel more guilty killing an a hundred year old or child? See, there's no there's no guilt or anything in this. How do you stand talking to Ryan, let alone watching a stream of him? I don't. I actually use a voice recording, uh, and then throughout the voice recording, I just make noises so like it sounds like I'm there. Oh, see, that's a story I could tell at the fucking Airbnb at the vacation we just had. I fucking broke a painting in the house. <laughs> well, not a painting. It was a picture frame with like some garbage ass art in it. And like two of them were like normal size bathrooms or yeah, like normal size. And then the one upstairs, the one where I stayed, the one upstairs was like literally like a fucking tiniest room I've ever been in for a bathroom. So like I could barely like turn around in that bathroom. I was about to flush the toilet and I stood up after I flushed the toilet. I bent over, flushed the toilet and I stood up. My elbow was either, no, it was my shoulder. My shoulder hit the painting. The shit fell off. And when it hit the floor, that shit like broke into like eight pieces. The glass didn't break, but like the frame just like broke into like a bunch of pieces. And then like I was talking to my friends about it. I'm like, what if we like just go to Target and then just put like a random painting there? You think they would notice? Like, I don't think they would notice personally. I, I don't think they would have noticed if we just didn't tell them. Like, I think it I think they would definitely would not notice if we didn't tell them this is like a random ass painting upstairs like i didn't notice it until i fucking broke it one of my friends were upstairs and they're like are you okay <laughs> and i was like they're like are you okay what happened and i was like oh no i just uh dropped my phone <laughs> and then i told them later i'm like yeah you know when he asked me if i was okay i actually broke a painting upstairs and they're like i fucking knew it they're like that shit did not sound like a phone <laughs> Man, I'll never stay in an Airbnb. They hide cameras all over them. I was talking to one of my friends about it. <laughs> and they're like, what if they got cameras everywhere? <laughs> I was like, let's find one of the cameras. And then let's rub our ass all over the screen. And then if they like mention something about it, <laughs> then you know that they had, they're hiding a camera somewhere. Let's do it. First actual boss. Use the i core and then switch to non i core. Well, honestly, you could probably just sit on using the i core one over and over. Alright, there you go. That was the boss. I do think we're a little strong. We already have like the last or armor set. I think you're supposed to fight that boss like right out of hard mode. But I was like, nah, I'm good. Oh my god, why does this guy have to spawn in while I'm about to fight the fucking boss? I'm dead! This thing does a lot of damage. This fucking diamond one. I want to make more of these uh, unlimited basic buffs. Unlimited damage buffs. Yes, sir. So that also makes it so we can have even more buffs. There we go. Unlimited defense buffs. It's looking good. Our inventory is going to get a little full from this, but it's looking good. <coughs> if you eat and shit at the same time, you're weird. I don't know, bro. That's just good time management. I gotta lie, I woke up at like 3 p.m. today, but like I woke up earlier, but I was just so tired when I woke up, which is even more weird because I made sure that I got enough sleep. Shit, people that get too much sleep are more prone to a heart attack. It's like, damn, how'd he die? He slept too long. This dude said, I only sleep after hentai. 